I made a huge mistake in my video recording journey. I made an absolute blunder. Now, I'm here recording this video and I hit record. I hit record on the video mic up here and I had to do a talk today that I found particularly challenging and that was to tell a concise story about a lesson that I recently learned and I racked my brain all day until it became quite late in the evening before I finally got around to putting myself in front of this camera today and talking to you. I got myself prepared. I decided that I was going to speak about perfectionism. Now, it's a really good lesson and it's something that I've been learning a lot about during uh, learning a lot about through my content creation journey. I have had to overcome a lot of per, uh, had to overcome a lot of perfectionism. I've been held back by a lot of perfectionism. I have learned that I think partly that's why I get into my head a lot about I have to get things right and I have to be perfect. Um, but today I turn that camera on and what I did forget to do was put my SD card back in the phone. And so I hit record. What do they call this when you got a number of different things all to come together at once to cause a particular problem? Um, perfect storm is one way to put it. So I forgot to reload my SD card. Now the reason the camera shouldn't have recorded if my SD card wasn't in there and it didn't, but it did start because for some reason the other day I put on a timer countdown so that I think I was outside filming something and I wanted to, I don't know, why did I put the timer on? So I pressed record, the timer started the countdown. I ran over here, I started my timer for the talk and then when the timer finished, obviously the phone went, nah, I can't record this and just stopped and I had no idea. And so I gave you guys this wonderful lesson about how I've learned about perfectionism and how to overcome perfectionism and just get on with things. And the whole time it wasn't recording, which is vaguely ironic. And because if I'd paid more attention, then I wouldn't have made that mistake. However, there was a countdown timer on there. Like I wasn't, the whole point of a timer was that you're not looking at the back of the camera and checking what's going on. There's no light on this side of the camera. Maybe that's a lesson I've got to learn. So the other positively ironic thing about today's story was I was telling a concise story about a lesson I recently learned and in the process of telling you that lesson I've made a mistake so I'm here to to confess my sins and I've had to do this twice this is my second round of speaking to the camera today and that's basically much it now my exercise is to speak for five to ten minutes I'm not at my five minute mark yet and that's one of the things I was procrastinating about. I was worried about getting my story out too fast. Funny enough, when I gave the lesson on perfectionism, I gave a whole dialogue at the end about how I tend to waffle and speak too long, and I spoke to that for quite some time. So it's interesting. I do actually really want to hear from you guys what you guys think about perfectionism and that balance, because one thing I'm going through at the moment with this content creation is a struggle within myself. I'm having a hard time working out my level of quality versus quantity. I want to be producing enough content to get it out for you guys to be regularly posting, to be starting to get a sense of what you as an audience want to hear, what you want to see, what resonates with you. I want to be able to make enough to get some practice, to start finding out what my style is, to work all my equipment out, to iron out the bugs. And so I'm on that, yet at the same time, I want to be doing my best and getting good quality out there and not just throwing up a random crap because you guys don't want to see crap. You don't want me to wasting your time. You actually want to get something out of this. I want to be here for you. I want you to be able to watch my videos and go, that was worth watching. Thanks for putting it up. So I'm in a bit of a bind. And so I really do want to hear from you. What do you want to hear from me? What other things can I speak to? What do you want to get out of it? Because at the moment, like I've got an IT background, okay? So I've been doing web development for years. Now, a huge part of my story is that I'm getting out of that. I am running a podcast that speaks about web development. It is what I know. It makes absolute sense. And I still want to learn it, but I'm putting it in relegation of hobby and not 
my career anymore because I'm still interested. And so I'm looking at the idea, I want to learn more about the editor I'm using for my video editing. I want to go through and spend some time going through the quick start and the titles, uh, not the quick start and the titles, the quick start, the setup, the installation. I've been through that, but I want, there's some tutorials and other guides, and I want to go through those tutorials and learn more about that editor. Now, I've come to the bright idea because I'm going, I don't want to I want to get content out. I don't have time to sit there doing study when I want to be getting content out. So why not make a video about my learning how to use that content editor? And I struggle though because the the theme I seem to be collecting and picking up on this channel is a lot about, I don't want to say success. I did a video on uh, the mindset of changing careers. and It was a bit about my story about my career shift. And the video I'm creating at the moment is a video on redefining success. And so I've got a lot to speak to do. It's, uh, I, I'm trained in the natural success curriculum. And so a lot of that comes out in what I've got to say. But then how do you, how do you get that and marry the natural success curriculum and things like learning how to use my editor, learning things about WordPress, Drupal, how to do web development, technical skills, and combine those together into a uh, thing that's got a cohesive audience and something you guys want to hear about. Now, I think, why not? Like that's, um, if I apply those six natural success principles to those things, like I want to learn the editor, this is what I'm doing. And I mean, that maybe that's part of the, what this exercise is, maybe part of me learning and noticing that, that I can harness the learning, the videos, learning to ed learning the editor, learning other technologies. I can harness that into content creation on this channel. In fact, I was actually speaking to two of my friends today about possibly doing interviews. One of those has in, um, some information knows about analytics, testing website traffic, analyzing user journeys through a website in order to do that. My other friend is in marketing um, and has other interests as well which I don't want to give too much away, but um, if you're interested in wine, then that's something we could interview them to as well. So I'm thinking about the idea of getting some people on here to interview them. I, I just want a great content. I'm throwing mud at the wall, seeing what sticks, learning what to talk about, and I'm bringing it to an end now. We've wrapped up our five minutes. We've gone over the five minutes. I don't want to go to the, the whole 10, and we've got it out. So bottom line, end of this video. If you've made it this far, please go down into the comments because if you want better content, then you gotta let me know what you want. Uh, what ideas do you think are good? What do you think I can improve? Um, if you don't like these videos, tell me that too, but I'm really actually really interested in what you guys wanna know. What do you think I should do? Get in, be interactive, get into the comments, tell me what you want because then I can create the content that you wanna see and I can help you and together we can all grow. So subscribe to the channel, hop in, Come back tomorrow. I'm posting one of these every day for uh, what I'm day 12 out of 30 days, and I'm pretty sure I'll do another round of 30 when I'm finished. So see you tomorrow.